Alright guys, we're gonna party like it's 1999. But we're not going to distill till 2017. <laughs> that, uh, Welcome right. back to Brolic Whiskey. You youngsters probably have no idea that that was a joke about Prince. He made a song called We're Gonna Party Like It's 1999. We are reviewing Highland Park full volume. So while I pour, I'm going to talk a little bit about this one. Mike, there's a couple of things about this one that makes this unique for a Highland Park whiskey. For one, this is the only whiskey that they're actually doing out of ex bourbon cast. They usually use sherry for their regular lineup. So is Highland Park like a thing? Just a company or is it like an area? Highland Park is the name of the company. Oh, okay. um, so it's not like an area. They're on the name. Orkney Islands. They're the ones with the Viking heritage. Uh -huh. We did the Dark Origins, which is our favorite. And they did Highland Park? That was by uh, Highland Park? Highland Park Dark Origins. Was really? It? Yeah. So the full volume. I really should pay attention. This is this is where they they they're a little dorky and I don't understand their reasoning behind this. But this was distilled in 1999 and bottled in 2017. So technically, and I asked them about this, why is it not showing an age statement of 18 years? Technically, they said it would actually be just under 18 years, so they would only be allowed to call it 17 years, which most whiskey companies would want to show that age. That's a, that's an old whiskey. Their reasoning behind it is they wanted to really push on the story of the whiskey. So, Mike, the story of the whiskey, right? Because that's what they want us to talk about. Bedtime story, let's do it. So, they really play up to the, to the music side of things on this one. So... You know how musicians, they have all their their equalizer and everything with all the knobs, and it's like you have to just have everything right. The, the treble, bass, and guitars here and all that. So they, looking at a mix, what, mixing board, right, to make the perfect sound of music. They're attributing their distiller as a musician. He's taking the right amount of peat the right amount of floral notes, the right amount of citrus. All right. So that is his equalizer. Well, let's run with it. Um, look, it's it's a nice melody. Very clean on the nose. I, I get a little bit, a tiny light citrus. You should be getting you know, a lot on this one. I don't. I get it. It's very light to me. Um, it, got, it has no bass. <laughs> it, has it has no, no bass. bass. It has no bass. It's there's a, a a lot of treble and there's a lot of mid. There's no bass. Okay. Yeah. I well, mean, it, it's very light and it's it's, easy, it's like classical music. Like you, you listen to it, you relax. Um, maybe you do some studying, do some work on the computer, whatever. But this is not going to make you jump up and want to dance. There's no bass. That's not that's not something I want to hear about something like this full volume whiskey, which hey, you play this uh, the head distiller. Chopin, really love. The head distiller of uh, of Highland Park, who created this, is Gordon Motion. So, Gordon Motion, this is this is a review for your your baby, I guess. Hey, look, it's clean. It, it's like I said, it's classical music. It's clean. I like it. Okay. First of all, let me just say thank you, Jonathan Castle. He donated this bottle to us. So, Jonathan Castle, thank you so much. Um. From everything I've read about this whiskey, it's supposed to be very fruit heavy, meaning very, like, you're getting notes of coconut, getting notes of pineapple. Um, these are, I've heard so many people refer to this being pineapple in so many reviews or Instagram posts. It's crazy. Hmm. Here's, here's what happened. One of the guys I follow on Instagram was touting this as so amazing and saying how much pineapple he got from it. And I just commented that at proof, I had this, and at that time it was one of my least favorite whiskeys of the night. I don't I know what kind of pineapple they buy. I didn't like it at all. But I understand what could have happened that day, which is I had so many different whiskeys, the right. palate just gets shot. It just can't handle it. And so I said, I, I look forward to trying this again with a fresh palate. And today I'm trying it with a fresh palate. I am getting more, which this is very lightly peated, light smoke. So I'm, I'm getting that with a little bit of citrus. I'm not getting that very 
That's citrus forward it's like this. It's very Same. light. It's very light. Um, if it did have a strong repeat, I would say it has some base, but it's a very light, light smoky flavor, which is a mid to me. So I'd like to see him drop a baseline in this one, but it's good. It's clean. I like clean. I like that that, that, that taste yeah. of clean, but it doesn't hit you in the chest. Yeah. It doesn't thump. Which is funny you say that because Mike, this is 47.2% alcohol. So it's not, it's, it's not like that. that. Yeah. It's real clean. It's real clean. Like it does not feel like you're drinking much alcohol at all. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put it at, at a good seven, like a 7.6. Um, I enjoy it. Again, it's, it's more relaxing music. This background music, right? This is, this is background music. Here. I don't know if I'd want to call it that. I'm not going to say it's elevator style. Um, this definitely isn't cruising music. This is something you're going to sit at home and relax with. Uh, this isn't going to make you jump up and dance. So, well, I'm, this I'm is this six. is uh, this is not citrus forward like I expected it to be from everything I've read. Uh -huh. um, it is very light, like Mike said. It's it's midline, and I just get that little hint of smoke. And I think the the little peat at the end is the only thing that really saves this for me. Gotcha. Because it's it is kind of boring. I'm sorry. It's it's uh it's not the full volume that I expect with a name like that, yeah. I'm gonna give it a seven too. Yeah, I mean, I don't get full duration. It's a short duration. There's no tingle, there's no burn, there's nothing out of it. Considering this is a 17 year old whiskey, which I think it's is still a, clean. I think it's the oldest whiskey that we've reviewed, really? right? Cause I think it, the oldest we've really done has been a 12 year old. Um, so I'm not, I'm not tasting the age of this whiskey which means I should be tasting more of the wood, maybe a little more depth to it, a little leathery is what you normally expect with older ones, but I'm not, I'm not getting any of that. It's still a very light. I would have thought this was a young whiskey, but Highland Park did get back to me. The reason they, did, they didn't use the age statement is because they wanted to go with the story, unless they were leaving out a certain uh, bit of information to me. Uh, they didn't say that they use some younger whiskeys, which is why they can't call it a 17-year-old whiskey. From what I gathered from their website, this was made in 481 casts, all these different barrels and hogsheads and everything, right about 63.6, 63.7 is what, what they were barreled at and then diluted down to 47.2 as the final product. But according to their story, it was only those 481 casks. So therefore, this is a 17-year-old whiskey. Yeah, good. Um, we diluted it down, which means it's probably still at about 43%. Yeah, I did get a, a, a sweet malty smell to it. Okay. Like it almost kind of candied up. I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, this is all of a sudden becoming um, a, a candy. Uh, Flavor-wise, it was disappointing. A little woodsy. Honestly, this is going to sound bad because it just sounds bad. Uh, I got a kind of a cardboard feel out of it. Huh. It was strange. I did not enjoy it. It was very plain, woody cardboard feel. Um, you know, growing up as a kid eating wooden cardboard, um, it, it, you know, it just brings back memories. It just wasn't enjoyable. Now, I might have diluted ours down differently, so try that one. I got a lot more of the smoke out of it on the back end like the, the nose exactly what he was saying a lot more sweet but it finished with a lot more smoke than it did oh, yeah. with yeah so different dilutions i guess why'd you do me like that why'd you give me such crap so yeah the smoke came out in yours it's not an exact science i wasn't um, using a syringe to make sure we got the same amount. Yeah. I definitely like mine more than I like yours. Like I said, cardboard. I'm going to review mine. Um, uh, I actually like it a little bit more with the dilution. Uh, I'm going to agree. I honestly will agree. I'm going to go with yours. This will save for packaging. That was a little more back boring. We'll, we'll save for packaging. Um, the smoke did come out. A little bit of character. Yeah. A little bit closer to the base that I wanted. Um, initially, it, it's kind of bland. I wish it would have kept some of that, that citrusy with that base, but uh, I'm going to keep it about the same, that 7.6. I don't think it changed much in terms of enjoyment or character. Um, 
other than that, it just shifted from a mid to more of a base. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I, uh, I actually like mine diluted just a touch more because of the fact I got a little more smoke. It didn't do anything to the sweetness. I still don't get those pineapple and, and citrus notes that everyone raves about. So I'm rating it off the fact that it's um, smokier. Yeah. I'm going to bump it just a little. It's not a lot, but I'm going to bump it to a 7.4 versus the 7.2 that I had neat. All right, let's get through this. So now it's on ice. We'll see what happens. It, it's, again, citrusy. I get that. Hopefully, hopefully that citrus is what we're looking for. Everyone keeps talking about pineapples and high citrus. I get that. I get the, I get the plain, like, lemons and limes kind of citrus. And of course, it's hard to nose in a big old rocks glass. Maybe one day we'll we'll get the Glencairn rocks glasses. All right, right off the bat. Uh oh. With ice. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. It, doesn't Mike look so dapper? Look at him. He's got his pomp going on. Oh, He's wait, got the wait. fancy shirt. Hold on. He's looking so dapper. Look at my clothes. I'm a success. Give Hold a on. thumbs up if you think Mike's looking dapper today. Hold on, let me get my millennial on. Oof, there we go. All right, I represent the mills. Um, so this, I am sweating. Uh, it's it's warm. Did not really enjoy it again. I'm gonna throw out that hot dog water again. It's just wow, you hate it that much? Yeah, I didn't taste anything but alcohol. Um, Interesting, because I'm actually getting citrus now. Really? Yeah, I got citrus on the nose. Uh, it just it became. Unpalatable. For Before me. you throw out your score, take it. Take another sip. See. See. Oh no! Can... Hold on. Let's switch up. You maybe you got more ice cubes than me. <laughs> it should be the same. Both added on ice. I mean, I got more citrus out of that. Maybe it's your chapstick, dude. I don't know what's going on. It tastes different. That one became unpalatable for me. Well, to me, I'm... yours is a lot more muted than mine. Oh no! Yeah, forget it. You don't like it. No. <laughs> Well, I'll take yours. I'm not. I'm not hating on this one. Um, keeping my scores relatively close. I don't hate this. Um, it's not for me. I'd much rather it di probably diluted. But um, go diluted. So, is this the first time we both agree on any whiskey being better diluted? It might be. I don't I think know. This is the first time we actually like a whiskey diluted, isn't it? Uh, it's been a couple times. We actually. Really? I think I was. Uh, all right. I think it was Classic Glotti that I like better. I'm, I'm slashing prices here. 50% down, dude. This is going like 3.8. I'm really not enjoying it. All right. I, I really didn't. I didn't. Well, I will say this. It's not the full volume Gordon Motion was looking for. I'm sorry. It doesn't taste like an old whiskey. Um, it doesn't have the fruit forward flavors that I expected. Yeah. I do appreciate Jonathan donating the, the bottle, so thank you, Mr. Castle, the Jersey boy himself. Joyzy? From New Joyzy. Joyzy. Not all bad things the, come out of Joyzy. Oh, I wouldn't go that <laughs> far. Eh? <laughs> it's the armpit of America on the right side. You know I love you, Castle. But, um, this... I would, I would still give a respectable 7. I mean, I've been pretty close to my score on this one. This one's pretty even across the board for me. Uh, I did expect a lot more. I Dark Origins is by far my favorite Highland Park that I've ever had thus far. Uh, um, it's good. It's now, good. Let's talk about price. This bottle typically sells for in the ballpark of like 120 bucks. Really? Yeah. That would, that would dissuade me. Yeah. For me, that alone... If it wasn't for the donation from Jonathan, I probably would never have bought this ever. Um, I will say it redeemed itself versus what we did at Proof when I tasted everything else. Because at the end of the day, I just wasn't feeling this one. But $120 worth for me? No. Yeah. Obviously, everyone's uh, financial situation is different. Everyone's taste is different. Taste is subjective. If we're going off price and taste, not for me. Taste, it's midline. 
we've been giving it a fair 7, 7.5 seven, score, but he hated it on ice. On oh, ice. <laughs> it, was, it was clean. It was, it was nice. If you're not paying California taxes, buy it. I'm okay with it. Two out of three. Two out of three of the ways we, we test. It was still in the seven. I liked for us. it. Yeah, I yeah, liked yeah. it. Um, I pay California taxes. I just can't afford to pay that. Now, here's the thing, Mike. You might not know this. California has some of the best prices on alcohol in the country. They have to. So, other places, this might be going for a lot more money. I don't know. Let us know in the comments section what you see full volume selling for wherever you are. Let us know where you're at, city and state, and how much you've been seeing this for. If you've tried full volume and you're actually thinking we're out of our minds for not being totally sold on it, leave a comment also letting us know that we're idiots. You know what? This is their opportunity. They can get brolic on us, right? Get brolic. Yeah. Tease us. Talk shit. Bring out the East Coast. Remember, I'm from New York. I, I can take it. I'm from California. I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> we are possibly the best whiskey channel that's in a fully enclosed net because we're scared of bees. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chopsticks.